Good afternoon, FS Club. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to FS Daily News, the number one place to get all your FS news in one video for the day. I know I'm late with this video, been running around all morning long. Anyways, it's been an interesting day with Farming Simulator news. This morning at 4 a.m., a hotfix came out for PC and it fixed mods. On the new mod front, it was a pretty good day. Got some good plows, plus Elk's Cabin finally came out. Remember, if you guys do like the video, to smash that like button. Talked enough, roll that intro, let's go. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, welcome back. Okay, the first piece of news to talk about for today is, well, there was a patch note that was actually hidden with the patch, which no one knew about. Palette's limits have now been brought in with version 1.4 to aid the game performance, but the limit affects PC as well as console. So it's not just, you know, just consoles. That is it. But Listerin said, some of you might have noticed it already. A patch note for 1.4 was missing. We added a palette limit to tackle performance issues while playing the game. The limit is 50 on consoles and 100 on PC. But then later on, this is what happened. I think they got a lot of feedback, so the pallets limits will be increased, but they will not be removed in a future update. No word on how much at this time. Also, if you're a PC player, you can also download a script from a link that I have actually in the description. So if you guys want to go over there and download that mod right there, and it's going to basically make your pallet limit back to a limited. But Listerin said, hey, we hear you loud and clear. We will adjust as it increase the pallet limit with the next patch. No ETA as it won't be a hot fix. Thanks for all the feedback. So we don't know when the hot, well, when that new patch will be coming out. It's probably going to be at least about like a month to two months. So for the time being, the limit will be on consoles, 50. On a PC, 100. Okay, let's get you some other news. The first one is from Connect Modding. He had this to say, are you ready to meet one of the most realistic suspension sprayers in Farming Simulator? Today, we present you the technical checkpoint of Agricultural Implements Jan Power Jet 2000. So here it is right here. Remember, there will be a big pack coming out on April the 30th, 2022 for PC and consoles. But let me see if I can read this fact sheet. Let's see, it is $152,651. I don't know what the top is, uh, but it also, let's see, it holds 2,650 liters, 150 horsepower, 42 kilometers per hour. So there we go right there. It looks really good. Can't wait for this pack. Next, after that one, you guys want to see a awesome sprayer. I haven't done vineyards that much in the game, but this makes me want to do it. This is the Kefani Drift Stopper Evo 2000 coming soon to every platform. This is from Ambassador Italy, Pepe978. But look at that, it actually sprays on both sides. So that's gonna be interesting right there. It also is gonna be interesting about like, you know, what if you space them out more? How's that gonna work? But this is gonna go good, of course, with the Italian map that should be coming out very soon. Now onto the last piece of news for today. This is from OK Used Mods. This is basically an update on all their current projects for all platforms. First one is the new 60x120 pole barn. He has fully remodeled this himself in Blender. He said he's planning on having an unfinished frame version as shown in the pictures, and then a color selectable finished version with metal siding, doors, and interior lights. Still lots to do on that. Also, he's been asked about updates on his American farmhouse. It was submitted on April the 2nd, 2022, and is still pending and waiting in line for testing. He will update it when he has more updates on that. So that right there, guys, is all the news for today. What do you guys think about, you know, basically the pallet limitations? Uh, what do you think about, okay, use mod 60 by 120 pole barn? Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, now let's go over the new mods we got for today. Welcome to the new mod showcase part of the video. Today, we got 19 new mods and updates to go over. For all platforms, we got 14 new mods and only one update. Now for PC only, we got three new mods and one new update. Let's just see these new mods. Okay, welcome to the all platform new mods for today. Gonna go over these kind of fast today since I'm running a little bit late. But the first one we have is the Raw Onyx by Polo 1590R. Uh, let's see, 5.4 tons, 110 horsepower is required on this one. Four working meters, six miles an hour is the operating speed, $8,000. And there is no options on that. Looks good. Uh, let's see, this is a cultivator right here. 
After that, we have the Lizard Underbelly trailer from Mantrid. This is, let's see, holds 80,000 liters, 7.6 tons, $90,000. We got configuration dual tank. We got the single tank and then back to dual tank. If you do the single tank, it can hold up to uh, 110,000 liters. Wow. Uh, wheel brand, we got Lizard. Let me go back over here. Uh, we have uh, Continental, Michelin, uh, Vritistein, uh, BKT, Midas, Nokian, and then back to trail board. We got twin wheels, we got wide tires, narrow twin wheels, uh, twin wheels, no steering, wide, no steer, twin wheel, tw uh, narrow twin, no steer, and then back to twin. Uh, let's see, beacon lights, none. Where did they put the beacon lights at? Um, where is the beacon lights? Okay, right back there. There they are. We got large. We got, oh, they also go in the front too. Huh. Uh, so we got two right there, and then there's also two right there. Uh, side decal, we have large, we have small, we have none. Uh, let's see, cover decal, you have the Lizard Logistics, Lizard, Lizard Logistics small. Okay, it actually puts it on the cover, see? Okay, main color, you have any color you want, so if we wanted to have it like pink, you can. Design color, any color, so let's just put this as green, it changes the top right there. Oh, this kind of like uh, mix in, don't they, a little bit? Huh. Uh, rim color, you have any color. I really like the way those blues look right there. Okay, but anyways, that is the Lizard Logistics Underbelly. Next one, we have the Robert BV3002. Let's see, this is a bucket. Holds 3,000 liters, 1.4 tons, $11,000. This is from Polo 5090R. Design, you got without options, crocodile claw, claw arm, Articulated silage cutter. Oh, that looks. Look at the detail on that. Uh, fixed silage cutter, and cutting jaw. And then without options. Attacher type. You got the Monitu. You got tele handler, skid steer, wheel loader, and back to Monitu. After that, we have a few new rollers for today. This is the Lizard PB5032. We have this one right here, the 032, which is thirty thousand uh, dollars. Let's see, three point four tons. Does require 54 horsepower, six working meters, nine miles an hour is the operating speed, $30,000. We got roller smooth, we got tooth, Cambridge, and then back to smooth. Main color, you have pretty much any color, which changes that. We have hydraulics, any color, let's just change it like that. Roller, any color, and then of course your rim, any color. Then we also have the HMR2, which is $5,000, a small roller right here two working meters it does require 15 horsepower and you have the frame standard folding left folding right and folding arms so if you want to you could probably hook the hook three of these together if you wanted to uh we have roller smooth tooth cambridge and then back to there main color any color and then roller color any color so you can basically hook up one of these and then maybe maybe be able to hook up two of these so that's pretty nice the next one on the list, we have a new auger. This is the Don 20 NPP from Russ Agro Tay. 20,000 liters, 3.9 tons, 150 horsepower is required. Uh, let's see, $12,000. Configuration, you got standard. You got an extension, which brings it up another four more thousand, so it's 24,000. Uh, design, you have design one, design two, design three, and back to design one. Wheel setup, you have standard, standard two, and then back to standard. Uh, main color, you got red, red two, or green. Design color, you either have white or you have yellow, which I have no clue what that changed. Okay, just changed the lettering on the front right there. See right there. Uh, rim color, you have white, you have red, and you have yellow. Next, let's get to a new trailer for today. This is the Crimpy Big Body 750 from Axe Diamond. Holds 37,500 liters, 7.5 tons, $50,500. A uh, Wilburn, you got Michelin. Trailborg, BKT, Vridistein, back to Michelin. Michelin, you got standard, wide tires. Probably gonna be the same for all these. Let me make sure. Yes, look at that, standard or wide. Uh, design, you got warning signs. You have uh, without warning signs, and then back to warning signs. Uh, design, without podium, extension, uh, sorry, podium or without. Capacity, you have extension, which is 37,500. You have the standard, which is 20,000, and then back to there. Main color, you either have red, you have green, which changes that right down there. Black, gray, gray two, and fig green. Design color, basically the same kind of colors up there. Rim color, you either have white or red. After that, we have a new plow, been actually waiting for a plow like this. Uh, well, this is the Case Eclotel 2500 from Arm Team. 
let's see, 3.3 tons. It does require a lot of horsepower, so 310 horsepower, 8.5 working meters, seven miles an hour is the operating speed, $80,000. We got attacher type three point, extension. Ooh, I like the extension. And then back to three points. Now on to the next and last regular mod for today for all platforms. This is the Case IH Optim Tier 4B from Blue EA. Uh, let's see, 273 horsepower, variable CVT, 410 liters of fuel, 31 miles an hour, 10.6 tons, 229,500. We got Wilbrand, we got Trellborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Vridistine, Nokian, Trellborg, yes, standard, wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires plus weights, rear twin wheels, twin wheels, narrow tires, and then back to standard. Probably gonna be the same on pretty much all these. Nokian has just standard and standard two, but Vridistine has the same. Uh, BKT has the same and Midas has the same and so does well Continental just has standard and wheel weights All right, and just up you got the 250 CVX which is 273 the 270 which is 288 the 300 which is 313 and there we go Main color you got standard you got special you got black and then you got gray and rim color you got standard black or white on that so let's go ahead and get it like this less red right all right, let me bring up the help menu. Okay, anything happen when I get inside? No. Okay, lights. One, two, three, three sets of lights. Rotating beacons on the top. Can't be quiet so you guys can hear that engine. Not a bad sounding engine right there. Okay, let's turn it back over on here. See everything turns on. Everything lights up, so that's good. Let me see if there's anything on here. Yes, there is. Let's see, uh, LB, RB, plus left stick, you can open up the door. Top speed is 32 miles an hour. Uh, I don't think we're gonna hit it though. Okay, there we go. There we go, oh, it's actually 33 miles an hour. Good brakes. Turn signals, yes. Okay. So that right there is the Case IH Optim Tier 4B. Okay, the first placeable mod we got for today is this one, the Dog Houses from Vudzo. Includes, of course, you know, a dog, a bowl. So fill the bowl. Includes a dog toy and, of course, the ha Whoop. Okay, yep, yep, okay. But anyways, where can you find this? Let's go over to Animals all the way to other and we have three of them we they're each 100 dollars. we have the polish we have the new dog house and the old dog house after that we have a new garage this is the medium garage from meshe mods uh let's see let's go inside of it real quick let's open the doors definitely has sounds on it open up all those lots of room over here uh, it does have lights where's the light switch at probably right there push b and the lights come on and there's also a door in the back. So plenty of storage area. Where can you find this? Let's go under sheds all the way to the very end. And there it is, it is $90,000. And since it does have solar panels on there, it will make you money. I'm a new farmer, so it's making what? $2,880 a month. Then next on the list is something I've been waiting for. This is the rustic cabin from Elk Mountain modding. So we finally have a cabin on, on here. So, as you see, a lot of decorations all over the place. Uh, let's go in it real quick. Yes, you can go in it. And look at this beautiful house. Lights on. Wow. We got some laundry soap over there. We got some coffee. Let's see. I'm trying to see if there's anything you could do in here. You can open those doors, that door. Okay, so we have a, <laughs> we have a bathtub right here. This is one of those old, old bathtub. I don't know. If, ew. All right, but there we go. Now, it would be something if you could see your own reflection there, wouldn't it? All right, then if we go over here, here is your bedroom where you can sleep. So wardrobe over there, sleep right here. And then can you climb up this thing? Oh yeah, you can. Got a little storage area right over here. So this is a really nice rustic cabin. So where can you find this? Let's go under farmhouses and all the way over there. It is $40,000. You see, you got a ladder over there. You got like, uh, you know, a bunch of decorations on the outside. So there we go. Okay, next on the list we have is the Arch Building Pack from Michael LS. Includes a shed, a garage, and an Arch Cow Shed. So right over here, this is the Arch Shed. I actually love the way this looks. 
So there's that one. We have the arched garage, which oh, doors open, of course. So there we go. You can turn on shed lights. Wow, this thing. I like this one too. Okay, and then last but not least, we have the arched cow shed, which this thing can hold up to 40 cows. So let's just get uh, 40 cows real quick. So lots of cows are in there. Let's go ahead and open that up. So feeding troughs and everything right in here. Does these doors open? Yes, they do. Okay, so you can open them up to allow the cows in. Let's open that one up. Okay, here are you guys. Actually, the, okay, how did the cows get in here then? Hmm. I don't know. All right, anyways, uh, got your slurry right over there, food, your straw. When you're putting down your bedding, you need bales of straw. Manure can be removed from the cow shed. In order to remove the manure, a loader shovel should be placed in, a, in the marked area. Manure can only be filled with a shovel. So there is a marked area somewhere over here. I think it's probably like right here. And then you can get your manure. Okay, where can you find all three of these? All right, let's see. Sheds, all the way to the very end. We have these two right here. They're 20,000 and 25,000 for those. And the cow shed, you can find under cows, and it is 27,500 for that. After that, we have two factories. This is the EU Factories pack right here, and this is from 20MM Normandy. It includes this one, which is the dairy factory, and then we also have a grain mill. So if we go into here, it is pretty loud, actually. This thing can make, let's see, the dairy one can make butter, cheese, and chocolate. And the grain mill can make wheat, flour, barley, oats, and sorghum flour. Uh, pretty much just standard stuff right there. Um, let's see, 15 and 13. Yep. All right. So it looks like you put your stuff in there, and then you can get it out right over here. And this one, let's go over here. So bring it right there, and you get your pallets right over there. Where can you find both of these? Let's go into production, and there they are right there. 70,000 for the dairy one, and 96,000 for the grain mill one. Okay, now the last new mod we got for today for all platforms is the refillable tanks. It includes a diesel refill tank, a fertilizer refill tank, a seed refill tank, a water tower, and a lime refill tank. So, we got all these right here. This one is, I have no clue. We'll take a look at that though. I think this one is for your seeds. Uh, this, actually, that one's for your seeds. This one is, I don't know, actually. That is the water tower one, and this is, of course, your diesel. Definitely look broken down, don't they? Okay, right, where can you find these? Let's go under containers. We have diesel, we have fertilizer, we have seed tank, we have water tower, we have lime tank right there. Okay, so that one is your lime tank. These, this one is your seed, and this one is your fertilizer tank. And these range all the way from down to $500 all the way up to $5,000. So that is all the new mods for all platforms. Which one was your favorite mod for all platforms? I'm probably either gonna have to say the rustic house or the case plow or the case tractor. Yes, I said a lot of case, yeah. Anyways, let's get to the only update we got for all platforms. Okay, so the only update for all platforms for today is the Biogas Plant 150KW. What changed on this one? Allow auto unloading of hay and straw bales and fixed typo that cause straw to be worth a lot of power and digesting. Okay, let's head over and take a look at the PC only mods. Okay, welcome to the PC only mods for today. The first one we have is the Pallet and Bell Warehouse. This is from John Wayne 1930. This is definitely gonna be good for PC players that you know just now have to deal with the 100 pallet limitation. But anyways, this warehouse can store and outsource pallets and bales. Uh, production pallets, big bag pallets, bales, straw, hay, ETC, and cotton bales. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that's that. Okay, you drop them off here. And I believe you can also drop them off right back here too. Don't think these doors open though. So there we go. Does that open up? Nope. You can extract the pallets. So pretty much put whatever you want in here as long as it's a pallet or a bale. But there is also a known bug on this. On pallet storing, there is a rounding error in the game sometimes, which loses one liter of the product. This leads to an incomplete pallet once you outsource all of one type. So let's see. The price on this thing, though, is $50,000. Da daily upkeep is $60 a day. The capacity is 8 million liters. This mod includes and uses the A Palette Silo script. Many thanks to uh, Arch Mobile for the storage script on that. So there we go. Uh, let's go and see where you can find it. Let's go over under here. Let's go under silos. And there it is right there, $50,000. 
Also on new mods for PC only for today is basically these next two are to add stuff to trailers. This is the Adrante R200A additional features. So if you download this, it will also download that pack. But additional features added the Italian license plates in addition to having specific logos and the yellow color. They have the characteristics of using a square plate called R repeater, which will have the same contact content as the vehicle attached. Add a support for lubricating grease. Add a new realistic emptying mode info to increase the amounts of emptying you must move forward and break. Add a new dynamic emptying speed on that one. And then we also get it for the Crescetos SPL pack, which of course additional features. They added all that stuff and they also added AI helpers. The trailer gets the status of the rollers on that. So that is all the new mods for PC only. We did get one PC only update, which is right here. And that update is for the PB5032. What changed on this one? Fixed camera height and store. So that is all the new mods and updates for today. Let's go over and take a look at that test list and let's do that outro. Well, that was the news, new mods, and testing list for today. Today's schedule, we'll be back on Compton for our live stream at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, playing around with precision more. That mod definitely made the game a lot more harder, which I like. Also, part three on the tutorial will be out tomorrow. Anyways, remember, if you did like the video, a like would be appreciated. Also, if you're new to it, that sub button and ring that bell. And from me to you, welcome to the club. See you tonight. Peace.